Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Night Shop Talk. The object in my hand is called a machinist jack. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, why does the machinist need a jack? I mean, they're not jacking up a car. They're um, not jacking up a building. Why will they need a jack? Well, the reason why they need a jack is for support. For example, you are clamping this to a either a milling machine or you're clamping this to a um, a drill press, and you have this overhang right here, okay. And let's say when you're coming down drilling. You drill into this, but you want the hole to be exactly center, I perfectly identical. So what you do, you take the machinist jack, and you put it right up against the hole. Or offset the hole. That's the way I do it. It's offset. That way, when you drill it, you have support here. It's not going to twist. It's not going to break the drill bit or break the... Um, milling uh, cutter it's going to support it so that it relieves the radial pressure that's going on this object you could also snap the object too I have actually seen that where people press down press down and the part they're working on snaps and they wonder what the heck happened well it's because you had no support so when setting one of these up, <clears throat> it screws out. You see those little grooves there? You can take a nail or take um, a small drill rod or, e or even a, a drill bed if you got one and put it in these grooves and these holes right here will lock it down for you wherever you want it. I've seen different styles of uh, machinist jack. Usually the most common is the hex um, uh, nut they put on these or they put a square one. That way they can get a wrench, a half inch, nine sixteenths, whatever you want to make it as. And then you would just build it. This head of your swivels the reason why it swivels is because you might have something that's off center and you want to put some support against it. Well, you can support it this way too. Wherever way you want. So that's it, guys. That's what a machine jack is. And little note, little tip is if you guys have one of these, what I do is I take the ends here. And I take either a piece of cardboard or I take a piece of wood and I make it the exact duplicate of this bottom. Reason why is because when you're drilling into it, when you break through to whatever it is you're drilling, you will see a flicker of uh, material of wood or paper, whatever it is. And then you'll know you're all the way through it. That way you do not mar up your tops of these um, these uh, machine jacks. Because you want, you want to keep your tooling nice, clean, and neat as possible. Alright, so that's it guys. If you guys like this content, make sure to like, subscribe. Later.